Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over everything that you need to know to create and manage the basic structure and web pages on your new website. So we've created our Google site. We start off here. We have a home page. We can create new pages, edit pages. You have more actions where you can delete pages, print them, move them around, preview them. You also have an area for your, your site settings where you can share the site, change the appearance. Uh, these we're going to cover in uh, other videos. So uh, check the, uh, the Eclipse uh, catalog for, uh, for additional options. Um, and these we aren't going to get into too much detail, but we are going to look at creating pages, editing pages, and maybe even look here at the navigation menus. So we start off here on the home page. Let's edit this page. Click on edit page button. Clicking on the edit page button will always edit the page that you're currently on. Um, I just I don't want it to be called home. I want my title to be welcome. So I can customize that. I can type some, uh, uh, some text uh, here in the main body area. I can copy that and I'm going to build a fake paragraph here. And then we have all the normal editing options that you might see in, a, in an editor. We have the ability to highlight some text and, and uh, make some of it bold and we can make some of it italicized and we can make some of it underlined sorry uh, underlined and we can make some of it a different color and we can make some of it highlighted and then we can add links so if I want to do a click here and then highlight the click here and then click on the link I can link to a web page that I've created, like my home page, or I can link to a web address and just type in CPCC. Now I've done a link. I can do list. So I can say item one, two, th three. I can do uh, just bulleted list. Right, left a line, which is what this is already. I can center it and I can right a line. So all the basic editing options. I can also choose to make some of my fonts uh, larger if I want to. I can take some text and change the font on the text. So all of your basic options exist. Below it here, I can attach a file. So I could attach, for example, a presentation, PowerPoint presentation. And also I can add some uh, some uh, comments in the uh, footer of the web page that I'm creating. So doing all that, I've changed my page a good bit. Uh, I could save it. Uh, one thing I'd like to show you before we leave this page though is how to put an image in here. So I'm just going to drop down. I'm going to do insert image. And you notice you have lots of insert options. You can insert images, links, tables, calendars, documents that you created in Google Docs, images and slideshows from Picasa, all kinds of great stuff. Um, we're going to add an image. I'm going to add a little banner here. So I can upload a graphic, something maybe I've made, or I can actually put in the web address to a graphic. If I have one, say, on my, my Facebook account or another website or something, I can then browse and... Let's grab a, a graphic. So I've got a, a banner here. I just upload that banner. And click Add Image. And there it's done. It's been added onto my web page. So again, let me do that again. I know it was fast. Is um, is uh, you know, editing the, the page we were on. Uh, I just hit Insert Image. I browse, went to somewhere on my computer where I had created a graphic and said open. 
and it placed it right in to uh, to my uploaded files and I just select it and click on add image and it drops it right onto my web page once I'm done I hit save and there I've created a web page uh, I can edit it again I can create a new page let's so say I want to create a new page and call it uh, several options sort of templates here web pages dashboard announcements file cabinets and lists we're just going to stick with the basic web page we'll create one that's called uh, chapter one or let's, let's say chapters right and uh, top level sort of puts it right up in the root I can have sub pages if I want to by specifying it um, create the page And so I can type some info about uh, the, the chapters that we're going to have in the book or that we're covering in our project and hit save. Now notice I just created a page. I could edit it again and do something elaborate with chapters like I did on home. right? But what didn't it do? Chapters was not added to my menu. So one of the things to keep in mind is as you're building your site, if I add 50 pages, 100 pages, you don't want them automatically showing up in your menu. So the system doesn't do that. It allows you to select the pages and things that you create and put them there. So I can go here to my edit sidebar, right, it's just below this, this bar, and there I get the option to edit what's there. I can edit my navigation, my recent site activity. I can even delete some of these if I don't want them there. I can add additional sidebar items if I want to put uh, put one back. Uh, in this case, we really what we want to do is edit our navigation and add chapters on here. So we're going to add a page to the sidebar navigation, and I just find the chapters page that I created and say OK. And maybe I want it above the site map, site map, so I hit up on the arrow and it changes the order. And maybe I don't want to say um, maybe I want to say something custom over here. I can call it anything I want to and change that if I want to and then hit OK and save my changes. And after I've saved, I click return to site. And now you'll notice that chapters shows up on the left hand menu. There's your edited page click on chapters, I can see that, edit it, and do all the same stuff again. So that concludes your, your basics of, of uh, getting your site started, creating pages, and editing pages. And we also took some time to edit our sidebar navigation menu.